The sun is up, the tide is out, and the search is on. First time I come here, I just want to exercise and have fun. Flora Chu said she was unaware it's illegal to dig for clams. Bivalve shellfish harvesting hasn't been allowed for decades in the Lower Mainland because they can be toxic, though she isn't worried about getting sick. With the chicken to cook, it's a yummy food, soup. <laughs> All the worst fear is that someone gets sick and possibly dies. Bivalve shellfish, including clams and mussels, are filter feeders, so contaminants build up in their systems. Pollution, but also naturally occurring biotoxins. They can be poisonous and fatal. can affect primarily the elderly, the young, little kids. Uh, and people with weakened immune systems. You know, we worry of people handling contaminated shellfish, especially kids. They like to play with things. They like to play with, maybe collect shellfish, and then, of course, their fingers go in their mouths. Harvesting clams is illegal, but catching crabs is legal with a license, and some regular crabbers try to explain the rules. I try to tell them, you know, that it's very tight. You shouldn't be picking up those things. But some of them understand they will stop. But uh, then when you walk away and turn around, they start picking again, so. They just ignore you, so. I just think there should be more signs posted. And in different languages, they say. But officers say they find harvesters of many ethnicities and translated pamphlets are available, as well as outreach on social media and ethnic newspapers. And I'll, I'll go up to butter clams. The BC Centre for Disease Control is launching a new information website this week. It tracks cases and says three people got sick last month, but that most people don't report it. And many think cooking the clams make them safe. While cooking will prevent you from getting bacterial illnesses, it's not going to at all do anything with the toxins. And in fact, sometimes the toxins get more potent after cooking. And besides the wide variety of illnesses, harvesters can also face fines starting at $250. Susanna the Silva, CBC News, Delta, British Columbia.